Good afternoon and welcome to this gorgeous day in Phu Quoc, Vietnam, an island in the far southwest of the country, and welcome to this short and sweet Bamboo Airways trip report. Right now, we're on our way to Phu Quoc International Airport, a small airport just about in the middle of the island. Opened in 2012, it was originally designed to handle just over 2.5 million passengers per year. In 2018, that was expanded to accommodate 4 million. But just last year, it handled 5.5 million. So Qinyang, the province which Phu Quoc is in, is now scrambling to build a second terminal to increase the capacity to 10 million by 2030. The vast majority of airports in Vietnam all share a very no-nonsense layout format. For me, they're all in the category of gets the job done. Let's head inside to check in now. For those of you that are new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. My name is Kevin and I am the Flip Flop Traveler. I think that the internet is in need of a whole lot more honesty when it comes to airline and hotel content and that's why I'm here. I just want to be real with you. I make trip reports and high-end hotel reviews and I always self-fund my trips. In fact, you'll always be able to find the exact price that I paid in the description below. I don't alert any companies I'll be filming because I want to have as normal of an experience as possible. So in this video today, I'm going to give you nothing more than my own personal, honest, and unbiased opinion based on my own experience. So since I took this flight some months ago, Bamboo Airways has changed quite a bit, but they've always been in some sort of mild state of crisis for some reason or another. So I can't actually say that the timing matters all that much. As we wait for check-in to open and then head through to departures, I'm going to give you the Cliff Notes version since the truth is, there's really not that much reliable information out there about the airline at the moment. They began their operation in 2019, owned by FLC Group at the time, a tourism development company. They expanded rapidly, too rapidly, and added wide-body aircraft, 787s to be specific, very early on, with orders or memorandums of understanding for up to 30 of them. They were mostly a domestic airline, but reached down to Australia and over to the UK and Germany as well, along with some other regional routes. In March 2022, the chairman of FLC Group was arrested. Some shady stuff was going on, let's leave it at that. First, let's head to the VIP lounge, accessed by Priority Pass, find a seat and I'll explain. Over the next months, the future of the airline was in doubt as they waited for a new owner to swoop in and save them. In my last Bamboo Airways video, I predicted that that would be Vingroup. I was wrong, but kinda close. Another property development company bought them, Himlam Group, which was announced in June of 2023. Reports about their insolvency and inability to pay staff on time was always in the news in Vietnam. In October 2023, the new CEO, Lung Huai Nam, announced a major fleet restructuring and pulled the 787s from service, basically wiping bamboo clear off the international map. A few minutes ago, as I was trying to research their current destinations, I went to their website. For the departure airport, I clicked on global and it was just empty. So back to all domestic they are, I suppose. To say that no one is really holding their breath for Bamboo to be successful is kind of an understatement, but only time will tell. If nothing else, they do have one asset which no other airline in Vietnam has, and that's precisely why I chose this flight today. I think that's the best that I can do, that they currently have 18 aircraft in service. Of those aircraft, five of them are Embraer E-190s. Bamboo is the first and only airline to operate the Embraers in Vietnam. One of the key advantages of them is that Bamboo can fly from anywhere in Vietnam to Con Dao Island, a destination which was previously monopolized by Vasco, part of Vietnam Airlines with their ATR-72s. So I've been curious to try one of the Embraers on Bamboo for a while now. I headed down to our bus gate just as boarding was about to begin. We drove for, I don't know, around 35 seconds and got a beautiful close-up view of what is surely the most comfortable regional jet family on Earth. Bamboo has marketed themselves as a hybrid airline, giving you the best of both full-service carriers and low-cost carriers. As I mentioned in my last Bamboo video, that is not always the case, but let's see what happens today. And here is your friendly reminder to click that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with friends and family. 
Those are truly the easiest ways, all free for you, to help the channel grow. If you'd like to support me further, my Patreon is linked in the description below. Thanks very much in advance. There's a small business class cabin on board in a 1-2 configuration, with economy in a 2-2 configuration. And here we are for today's very short flight. Luckily, I was able to get an exit row. Looking around, I need to tell you that I think that these seats, specifically the exit rows, are the most comfortable economy seats that I've ever sat in, ever. Short haul, long haul, mid haul, low cost, crazy cost. They are truly so comfortable. Fully padded on all surfaces, Loads of legroom in the exit row, huge windows at a great height, and that lovely extra inch of seat width common on E190s. This was truly the real deal. They even had individual air vents. Never in my wildest dreams did I ever think that Bamboo Airways would have my favorite economy seat. Wet wipes were passed around and we pushed back, quickly making our way to the runway for a beautiful late afternoon takeoff. The spool up, takeoff, and airport stats are coming up next. Today's service was this. I mean, it's standard for a domestic route like this in Vietnam. Vietnam Airlines would have the exact same, but it begs the question, how much more are you paying for this service in this ticket compared to not getting a bottle of water on Vietjet, perhaps? The bottle of water did help me discover another great feature of the exit row seats here, though. The armrest is practically a side table. Am I the only one who loves watching other passengers get excited about looking out the window? Easy. Really 
back to Lenhushmi for 25 minutes, depending on the traffic. Uh, the weather in Lenhushmi right now is cloudy, temperature is 32 degrees Celsius. We hope you have enjoyed the fire test today. And we wish you a very pleasant stay in Lenhushmi City. Thank you for choosing the weather. I know this was a short one, but the approach into Saigon today is especially beautiful, and I tried to get it from a few different angles. I'll let you enjoy as we approach from the southwest. I really wish I could just bottle that sky and then sell it. So, Bamboo Airways, still up in the air as to what I think of them and what they'll be. I certainly love the seat, but their crews? I don't know. I generally find Vietnamese crews across the board to be friendly and warm. Bamboo crews though, I almost get the feeling that they're being trained to be reserved and quite formal which just doesn't really work for an airline like this. I don't know, we'll see what comes of Bamboo in the coming months. My guess is that a year from now, they'll either be expanding again internationally, or they'll be out of business. In this day and age, if you can't capture the market share, you really can't survive. I really do hope that you enjoyed this video today. If you did, please be sure to click that thumbs up button and subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss out on any of my twice weekly videos. I post full-length reviews every Thursday and Saturday. I'll see you next time for a great comparison on Vietnam Airlines in a premium economy seat for the hop to Bangkok. Oh, and thanks for watching till the end.